the science of playgrounds. Whoa! Look at that! Science club for girls lie. Let's all take one deep dive into the world of science, technology, engineering, and math. Get your safety goggles, cause we're making things explode. Science is so fun, so let's take it on the road. Meet a young scientist just like you, and learn all about what they do. We'll even learn science that's in the news, through one-on-one -on -one interviews, with SCMG Live and friends. Experimenting never ends. Now let's see what's in store. Just press play and get ready to explore. Ho 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 hey hey hey. Ho 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 hey hey hey. Oh my goodness! Is that a dinosaur? Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Who are you? Oh my goodness, you're not Hannah! Yeah. Hi, Sally. My name is Morgan. I'm an educator here at the Museum of Science. Whoa! Wait, did you say Museum of Science? I sure did. I thought museums only had art. Oh, no. oh my goodness, we science! Have so much science here today. In fact, we're gonna go inside and learn about the science of playgrounds. Playgrounds? Are you kidding me? I love to play on playgrounds. We gotta go, and it's inside? It's inside. I have a friend waiting for us. Should we go see her? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Here we are in science in the park. Whoa, it looks like a real park. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know we were inside. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Wait, did we say you had a friend in here? I do, yeah, let's look Where is she? I think she's around here. Hey oh, guys. Some 
were forced to pull uh, this lever down to push Lauren up on the other side. So maybe I can help you apply some more on this side. Okay, let's do it. it. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> awesome. We did it! That was awesome. That was awesome. Go, Sally. So that seems like we could do it, but I wonder if it would be more difficult to lift somebody up who's a little bit taller. Somebody like my colleague, Matt. Let's go, Matt! Woo! Yeah. So okay. let's see if we can try to lift up Matt this time. And remember, we have to push down with a lot of force to lift Matt up. Okay, let's try. Yeah. One, two, three. Higher. Higher. Whoa! Well, I tried with all my force and I couldn't lift that up. Me neither. But we have a really cool trick that we can do. I think if we made this a little bit longer and added more distance to our lever, we could probably apply less force. And I think we could lift that up. No way! Should we give it a go? Yeah! Alright, let's try it. Sure is. We added some distance, so let's see if now we can apply enough force to lift Matt all the way up. Should we try? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. I'm on three. One, two, three. super lever but this is the itty bitty mini lever and you can do this using stuff that you just have around the house including cardboard and a ruler some rubber bands a paper cup and tape and then just whatever objects you have lying around to give it weight cool. so first we have to build that center point for things to balance on. So we're gonna take a piece of cardboard and you can just cut it from a cardboard box and we're gonna make it into a triangle. Like this, yeah. And it's important because we want it to have a point. And before we tape our triangle, we wanna put a couple of rubber bands onto it. You could also use string or tape for, this is gonna be used just gonna put a couple of rubber bands on here and then we're gonna fold it up into a triangle cool. yeah I love triangles they're a really good shape we're just gonna take some tape wrap it around our triangle to make sure it stays together all right it's a pretty good triangle then we're gonna put our ruler on here and you know what? To balance. To balance. And to make sure that it balances really well, you might want to take a little bit of tape just to put it, stick that to the table to make sure your itty bitty mini lever doesn't go sliding all over the place. Yeah, so now. It's small, doesn't it? You can't move around all over the place. Yeah. So it moves just like a seesaw. So now we need to add some weights to it. We're going to do that using this cup. So we're gonna take our ruler and put a little bit of tape on the bottom of our cup. Now we get to test it out. We're gonna put our cup on the end of our seesaw lid and now we need to some weight to it so you can just use whatever you have lying around the house I happen to have some markers here so let's put those into the cup and Sally do you want to try pushing down on the end to see if you can lift it up Woo! yeah I'm strong on a big 
and a small scale. You sure are. So it's pretty easy to lift the objects you have in the cup. You can even add something heavier and test out how easy or hard it is. Let's pop it out for something heavy. You can see how easy or hard it is to, to lift it up. That feels way harder. Oh, let me try that again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's super hard, but we can do the same trick that we used for the super lever and move the weight a lot closer to the middle and make the other side longer, increasing the distance. And now it makes it a little bit easier. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, give it a try. Easier. Yeah. Wow. So you can try this out at home. Experiment with different lengths. Experiment with different weights. You can try moving the cup closer and farther away from that center point. It's a pretty good way to do the super lever, but mini sized. Woo! Super mini! <laughs> it went so fast that the paper exploded! Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go that fast anymore in the playground. No, 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 you don't need to worry, Sally. There's no way for us to go so fast that oh. anything explodes. Oh. I promise. Thank goodness. So oh. it is very safe to spin on the playground. Okay, good. Oh, what a relief. I'm just a puppet. <laughs> wow. I guess you guys were right. There are things that play. There's forces, even when you go around and around, not just up and down. Yeah, that's that special force that pulls things to the outside. And it pulled so hard that it made the paper explode. Wow, science is so interesting. Okay, what are we doing next? So this is gonna be our at-home experiment with spinning. So, if you're not too dizzy from spinning around on your own, 
You can try this experiment, and for it, I actually brought some of, I think they're your friends, Sally. Wait, wait, I recognize these guys. We go way back. There's, um, Gary the Gecko. There's Manny the Mantis. What's up, Manny? Let's go get coffee. Robin the Robin? Owl the Owl, not a very original name. And Hedgie. Oh, I love you, Hedgie. Ugh. All right, well, your friends are gonna be helping me by doing kind of an extreme spinning experiment. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna be part of the extreme spinning experiment. Okay, so to do this experiment at home, you are going to need a bucket and some string. It'd be really good if you have a parent do the tying of the string or the rope for you, but you're basically gonna get a bucket, some string, and whatever animal friends you have hanging around the house. Or Stuffed puppets. ones. Stuffed animal friends. Oh yeah, not real friends. Important ex disclaimer. And they're gonna go into the bucket. Okay. Wait, I wanna go too. You wanna go too? All right, Sally, Whee! hop on in. Here we go. <laughs> so- I'm so excited. <laughs> And now, you're gonna hold on real tight to the end of your string, and you're gonna Ooh! spin it around! Oh my goodness! Are you having fun, Sally? Yeah! So, so the reason that Sally is safe is because of that special force we were talking about earlier. So the bottom of the bucket is pushing up and keeping all of our friends, including Sally, inside. And the force that's pushing them out is pushing them against the bottom of the bucket. So everyone stays safe, as long as you're going super, super steady and fast with your bucket swinging. Once you've experimented with this a little bit at home, you can actually take out the animals and if you really wanna have some summer fun, head outside and put a little bit of water into the bucket and see if you can keep the water inside the bucket as it's spinning using that special force. Try it at home. Another thing I really love to do on the uh, playground is to go on the balancing beam. I'd like to think I'm pretty good at it. Whoa! I would love to have some tips and tricks to go on the balancing beam like I'm really bad at it. <laughs> so, one of my things that I think about when I'm on the balance beam has to do with the term called the center of mass. Now, we all have mass. In the mass, it's just all the stuff that makes us us. All of our weight and all the stuff we move around. So the center of our mass is about the center of our body. So if we keep our center of mass in line with the point that we're balancing on, then we're pretty good at staying balanced. Now, if our center of mass falls to the side, maybe we can stick out an arm to move our center of mass over it so we're still on the balance. Another trick on the balancing beam is to lower our center of mass so it's closer to the balancing beam. Now, I have a special contraption here at the Museum of Science where I can show that to the extreme do you want to see it? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, do you see this? Whoa! Hey, Sally. What are you doing? It seems kind of crazy, right? Right now, I'm on top of the museum's tip and spin, which is this awesome contraption, which, as you can see, tips from side to side and spins all around. Now, the top piece that I'm standing on, where you can see the it's not actually attached to the bottom piece where the blue is. It's just balancing. No pins, no hooks, nothing. Just resting on top. Now, the reason I know I'm safe while I'm up here on the tip of is because there's so much weight below the center of mass. There's about 250 pounds down there. And because there's so much mass, it keeps the center of mass below the balancing point, which is the red pin right below me. Now, it would take so much force to raise the center of mass higher than the pivoting point uh, that it probably won't happen. So believe it or not, I'm actually super safe up here. And that's all thanks to my understanding of forces. Yeah, well, I don't think I'm gonna be trying that anytime soon, but it's really cool that you can. Wow! Hey, Sally. So I have such a cool activity that we can do with balance at home. Whoa, let's do it. All right, have you ever tried to balance a gear stick on your finger before? Um, I don't have fingers, but I did try to balance on my head, which is very hard. Very difficult. And that's because the center of mass is way in the middle of this meter stick, probably around where my finger is here, while the balancing point is down below, my, uh, below the meter stick over here. So it's really hard to get the meter stick to stay balanced. But what if we could move the center of mass so that it was below the balancing point? Whoa! 
Just like the tip and spin? Exactly like the tip and spin. So here, I attached some clothes hangers and some weights below the bottom of the, uh, of the meter stick. And it balances just right on my finger. Whoa! So, so basically, how you get it to balance? Because you move the center of mass from the middle all the way down because you put more weight at the bottom. So it made the center of mass lower. Definitely. You guys can all experiment with how much weight you should add at the bottom of this uh, contraption. And I think you guys can all figure out how to get the perfect balancing stick. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we learned so much about science at the playground. Oh my god. What do we do first? What do we do first? We, we, uh, We're on the seesaw, right? Oh my <laughs> god. The seesaw. Like, we're like, wow. Yeah, we learned how forces help us to go up and down on their hands. It was awesome! And then, and then what do we do next? We do spinning. Yeah, we learned about the forces and pull us when we spin on the playground. Yeah, that was awesome too. And there's a special force when you're spinning, right? Yes, oh exactly. Oh my gosh! And then, and then what do we do next? I think we learned a little bit about balance and how our center mass can help us to stay in one place. This episode of SCFG Live has been brought to you by the Museum of Science, who supports Science Club for Girls' mission in making STEM exciting and accessible to all. Both the Museum of Science and Science Club for Girls support women in STEM and are working towards making STEM more diverse, equitable, and inclusive.